Good day everyone, my name is Shina Shanseno, I am one of the reporters of Group 4, and I am from BS Psych Section 13, and it is my great pleasure to introduce to you my fellow members. Good day everyone, I'm Mia Peros, one of the reporters. Sophia Nicole Lazada here. Good day everyone, I'm Emerlyn Asida, one of the reporters. I'm Chris Nopia from BS Psychology Section 13. Hello and good day everyone. I am Alia Bella from BS Ecology Section 1D and I am one of the reporters. Great! So our topic for today is all about sociology. So what comes into your mind guys when you hear sociology? So first let's define what sociology is. So now we're talking about sociology. So sociology is a social science that study human societies, their interactions, and the processes that preserve and change them. So meaning sociology is a study of human behavior. So it refers to social behavior, society, patterns of social relationships, social interactions, and lastly, cultures that surround by everyday life. And the main focus of sociology is the human society and its various components. It is because society is a such a complex and a fluid subject. So now we pick one of the greatest female sociologists. And did you know that she was the first female sociologist? If you want to know more about her, Miss Gray will introduce her to you. Miss Gray? Thank you, Miss Shin. So, hello again, my fellow students, and to those who are watching this right now. I am Grace Nopia from BS Psychology Section 1-3. I'm here to discuss about Miss Harriet Martineau. Harriet Martineau was an English writer known as the first female sociologist. She is one of the early members of the field. She wrote over 35 books and long list of essays about sociology topics from a feminine perspective. She was born on June 17, 1802 in Norwich, England. And a descendant of a French Protestant that had fled France, she died on June 27, 1876, and was the sixth of eight children of her family. Her family is one of the economically stable and wealthier most family at the time. Their household practiced Unitarianism, which influenced her social theory and her belief about social justice. Unitarianism is typically believed in inherent worth of every human being, justice, equity, and compassion. At the young age of 15, Harriet already became a political economist. She was one of the first women journalists of the era and was also worked as a translator, speechwriter, and novelist. Harriet was the mother of sociology. She is often credited with playing an important role in society. She was the first woman sociologist in the history of scientific discipline. She was so well respected that she actually received a personal honorary invite to Queen Victoria's coronation in 1838. Harriet Martini is best known for her journalist contribution on a vast number of controversial issues that agitated the early and mid-Victorian period. Her many radical stances on issues such as education, women's rights, or abolition of slavery reflects the evolution of her ideas from early career as a contributor. This philosophical position was highlighted by her joint publication with Henry Atkinson of Letters and the Laws of Man's Nature and Development in 1851. Her belief in the world being the result of revolution and not of divine creation was source of her lifelong intellectual commitment. To discuss more of Harriet's discipline, here is Miss Sophia and Miss Aliyah. Thank you, Miss Gray. First things first, I just want to ask everybody, how are you guys doing today? Sophia and Nicole Lacetta here. Now we are going to talk about social theory by Harriet Martino. Okay, we really are theorists of our own. Simply, we try to make sense of, understand, or explain our social world. Like, do we all get um, pretty much what we deserve? There's, in fact, um, a division of theorists from different stages. And again, Martino is one. Um, sociological theory here, we are talking about the guidelines for thinking in a disciplined manner about the social world. The quest now, what is social theory for Martino? Without further ado, let's get into that. First, the subject matter of sociology is a society's configuration of morals and manners. 
morals, meaning social attitudes or beliefs about actions, behavior, and then manners, um, patterns of social action and behavior that she distinguishes between these two facets is key because it emphasizes the importance of meaning when analyzing social behavior. Second, the validity of sociological knowledge depends on the interconnectedness between impartiality, critic, and sympathy. First off, impartiality, evaluating societies without prejudice or ethnocentrism. Second, evaluation was possible by comparing the standards that a society um, set itself with whether that society practices those standards and the amount of um, human happiness in a society. And then lastly, um, she rejected the idea of sociologists who studied society without using knowledge they required to make society better. And I guess that's pretty much for my part. Let me turn you over to Ms. Ali Avella. Martino Social Theory Martino sought representations of morals and manners in the society being studied. She studied things via people's explanations about them. She believed that one could generalize about things in a society, and to do this, one needed to choose the right things things that are universal across societies, for example, arboreal rights. Martino's fourth social theory is that sociology is a critical science that has an ethical responsibility to oppose domination. According to her, there are three ways that domination could be observed in a society. First, the condition of the less powerful. Second, the society's idea of liberty. And third, the society's progress in providing all people the means to develop one's own judgments and beliefs. Martina believed that Americans would eventually realize the harm that fetishizing or have an irrational commitment to or obsession with wealth brought and that this would lead to an equalization of property. During this time, property is wealth. Martina did not believe that it was ethical to force anyone into a certain opinion and that went against the ethics of social justice. Instead, she believed that people had to come to conclusions. Okay, now we're here in the legacy of Harriet Martin. Society in America is her most popular book among sociologists today. Her other studies have been largely unrecognized despite their relevance to sociology. Morals and manners provided the first known systematic methodological commentary in sociology and set the precedence for sociological theory. She has numerous works, one of those is Society in America, published 1837 demonstrating her approach to sociological methods. The text was based on her travels to America, met with ab abolitionists and people who worked in educating girls. She documented a wide chasm between extant institutional patterns and the values of democracy justice, equality and freedom that Americans claim to cherish. So finally, Martino is notable for her progressive politics. She was an important activist with regard to her long-running campaign for the abolition of slavery in the United States. She introduced feminist sociological perspectives in her writing and addressed overlooked issues. So also, Martino believed that the universe in general and society in particular operate according to certain natural laws which can be understood through science and education. So, okay, you guys have now learned about Martino, so let me know who is your greatest sociologist. Thanks for listening.